unleash the full potential of your Stardew Valley experience with these 15 game changing tips. Stay tuned till the end for an exclusive bonus tip that will blow your mind. This rare crow can be found at the Stardew Valley Fair for 800 star tokens. The witch rare crow can be found at the Spirits Eve Festival for only 5,000 gold. The alien rare crow can be bought at the casino with 10,000 casino coins. The snowman rare crow can be bought at the Festival of Ice for only 5,000 gold. You can find the female farmer rare crow at the flower dance for a pitiful 2,500 gold. Guess who sells the dwarf rare crow? Yeah, the dwarf for only 2,500 gold. You can find this raccoon rare crow at the museum after donating 20 items. This monstrosity of a rare crow can also be found at the museum after donating 40 items. After finding them all, you will get the recipe to craft the deluxe scarecrow that can protect double the amount of crops. Once you have completed the community center, you will gain access to many new things around the valley. One of those things is often forgotten about. Robin will now sell you community upgrades. One of these upgrades is utterly useless and you should avoid it. Robin wants half a million gold to build Perma House. Yeah, avoid that one. The other upgrade is actually amazing. The shortcut upgrade only costs 300,000 gold and will add a bunch of shortcuts around the valley for you to use and abuse. You can now run past Leah's cottage to get to the beach quicker. This fence is cleared allowing you to reach the mine easier. You can also gain access to the quarry using this new route over here. There's now a path under the museum that will let you reach the other side of the beach from the town. You can now access the back roads from the bus stop, a plank that we can use to access our favorite fishing spot. Nice. Additionally, once you have fully upgraded your farmhouse, you can leverage Robin's services to slightly increase the size of your house. You can remove this useless crib, add two additional rooms and remove this wall creating an amazing open floor plan. Look at how big it is, look how hard I can abuse it. This might sound odd, it might even sound illegal, but just hear me out. Time is precious in Stardew Valley, the days are really short and we are always trying to maximize how much we can do every single day. Yes, this is true, but it is not true for the late game. At at some point you are going to have everything that you may need so why not just sleep for 7 days in a row until your wine is ready to collect? Why not just sleep until your crops are ready to harvest? Well the only downside is that your animals may start to hate you and I think I can live with that. Hops are actually insane if you use them correctly, you see hops are special. They are a regrowable crop but they only take a single day to reproduce and be ready for harvesting. Additionally you can drop hops into a cake to turn it into pale ale. This is also special because they sell for a very decent amount of gold but also it only takes two days to turn hops into pale ale so you could set something up like this just have two kegs for each hop crop and cycle the hops into your kegs every single day doing this over a long period of time will make you absurd amounts of money enjoy your profits you see these awesome little light sources these are great you can buy the recipe for these at robin's little carpentry store however you can only buy one of these recipes at a time you will need to close the shop window and then reopen it to buy the rest quite easy to get all of these if you know the trick. Magic bait is great, right? You can use these to get fish from any season. This helps out a ton if you are chasing perfection or if you need a specific fish for a recipe. But did you know that it also works on those really annoying fish that you can usually only catch in the submarine at the winter night market? Yes, somehow you can cast your fishing line right over here and just like magic, you will be able to catch fish that swim at the lowest depths of the sea. Cool, right? Everyone believes that kegs are just better than preserve jars, but wait, preserve jars have one advantage. They add a base amount of 50 gold to any crop placed inside of them. So really low value crops benefit more with preserve jars when compared to kegs. Here's a list of crops that will be more valuable when used with jars. However, kegs are always going to be better when you are using higher value crops. Mr. Key has a stock list for sale, you can give this to Pierre to allow him to sell all of the crops no matter the season. This is great if you need a specific crop regardless of the season as you can grow them in either your greenhouse or on your ginger island farm year round. However, it is important to note that the cost of the seeds that are out of season will be more. So just keep that in mind if you are hoping to sell these crops for a profit. Nothing major, just somewhat important. Don't underestimate the napalm ring, this little thing will explode whenever you defeat any enemy. This can help you defeat more enemies if they are close enough to each other but this can also help you find ladders quickly. These explosions can and will destroy rocks helping you mine for resources and find ladders without using any energy or bombs. And more importantly these mini explosions will not damage you. Now that is a win. You know what they say, bigger number better person so hit subscribe right now to make me a good person, thanks.
The statue of endless fortune is much better than you may realize. This little statue costs 1 million gold and you can buy it from this guy in the casino. This thing is insanely expensive but it is worth it. It will magically create an item that is a loved gift when it is someone's birthday. However, it does more than just that. It will create either an omni geode, a gold bar, a diamond or even an iridium bar when it is not someone's birthday. If you have many of these, you could easily get the resources to craft up more crystallariums. Yeah, that is exactly what I use these statues for and there's nothing else to spend our money on anyway. If you do happen to use the beach farm, you might see these crates wash ashore on your farm. They are often filled with garbage that you don't need or want. But fear not, because these crates actually have levels. Higher level crates give better loot. To increase the level of these crates, just upgrade your farmhouse. The highest level crate can drop deluxe retaining soil and even mega bombs. So yes, this is most definitely worth the effort. This is going to sound silly but just hear me out, wood is cheap in the early game, like incredibly cheap, it only costs 10 gold. However, the cost of buildings and upgrading your farmhouse requires a lot of wood. You might not have enough energy to get all of the wood that you may need or there might not be any trees left. But remember, wood is cheap so just buy the wood from Robin. It really won't cost you as much as long as you are within the first year. If for some reason you need lots of hardwood right now, well you could abuse the mines. That's right, the dangerous version of the regular mines has hardwood in it that you can very easily get. Just enter floor 35, chop down the mahogany trees and the large stumps, leave the floor and re-enter. Hardwood has never been easier. There are technically 2 billion floors in the volcano dungeon, you just can't access them without the help of some mods. If you use the command debug volcano 10, you will be able to progress past floor 10 in the volcano. You can go as deep as your heart desires. You will find an unreal amount of resources if you do this, as the scaling is kind of broken. I wish this was available for everyone. Get ready for some seriously cool slime breeding action. Hatch a couple of your slimes in different colors and let nature do its thing. These adorable blobs might just surprise you by popping out in completely different colors. We're talking about rare colors that aren't found in the wild. Beware of the meddling witch who can wreck all of your slimy plans by turning every single one of your slimes into dreary black blobs. Run over to Crobus, snag yourself a wicked statue and place that right there into your slime hutch. And just like that, your slimes will be untouchable, completely safe from the witch's mischievous clutches. You can catch fish without even paying attention to the game. Enchant your fishing rod with the auto hook enchantment, then use a barbed hook fishing tackle. Now all you need to do is cast your fishing line. When there is a bite, it'll automatically start the mini game. then the barbed hook will move your fishing bar for you. All you need to do is recast your line. Free fish. Cellmancer revealed this amazing new glitch that will make you super rich. Craft up as many looms as you possibly can. Then get a furniture catalogue and fill up your entire inventory with yellow couches. Drop these into the hoppers and then just like that you will be printing cloth that you can then sell for pure profit. That was 15 tips that you need to start using in Stardew Valley and this next video is 20 things that you should never do if you want a successful playthrough. Thanks for watching but for now I will see you in the next video.